The line, be seeing you, is repeated numerous times by different characters across the John Wick universe, but its true meaning isn't necessarily obvious. While the John Wick films are praised for their meticulously choreographed action, the distinguishing factor of the franchise is its compelling and intricate criminal world. It's a world heavy with rules and lore, but its true lifeblood is the mutual understanding all assassins seem to share. It's a close community. The significance of be seeing you is universally acknowledged in the world of John Wick. Yet, unlike the rules of the Continental or the obligations of the Marker, its meaning is unspoken and ambiguous. The line can be read as a simple threat, one of the many ways John Wick characters guarantee violence. However, the deeper meaning is one that only comes out during meditative final moments. For example, there's the case of Ares in John Wick Chapter 2. Ares is after John for most of the movie, and when she sees him in the Continental Hotel, she tells him, be seeing you. It's a clear promise of a future fight. Later, in her dying moments, Ares once again signs, be seeing you. Only now, it carries a different meaning, one that echoes Vigo's dying line in the first film. Be seeing you, John. In these instances, the phrase no longer implies violence. Rather, it seems to be an acknowledgement from one assassin to the next that they are all going to the same place. It's this awareness that underpins the mutual respect most assassins share in John Wick's world. Vigo and Ares accept that they're going to hell, and John accepts it too. The double meanings of be seeing you point to the oxymoron at the heart of John Wick's nature. On one hand, he is a seemingly immortal spirit of inevitable violence, the Baba Yaga, an angel of death whose promise of be seeing you is always fulfilled. On the other hand, John Wick is a mortal man, one whose love for his late wife motivates his every action. In this sense, Be Seeing You is an acknowledgement of John's own mortality. Ares and Vigo's dying words remind John that he too will die, and John's death at the ending of chapter 4 fulfills this promise.